Hi, I'm Daniel Sloat. And I'm Jordan Hurtado. And we're here to interview Bailey, Bailey James. James. What is your name and what are some of your hobbies? I'm Bailey James. I like gaming, paintball, flying airplanes. What age were you when you started flying? I started roughly over a year ago when I was 17. I just came back from China. I was a junior. You know, I started flying because I wanted to start right away building a career that I know that I could do for the rest of my life. I don't like the conventional working in the office or just doing whatever else. I couldn't see myself doing anything but flying, so why not start now? If I were to think who were to inspire me, I think it would definitely be my grandfather. He started about 10 years ago, and he always took me for flights whenever he had the chance. I loved it. So, what do you intend to do with a flying license? Well, from here, out of high school into college, I plan on going to get my ATP rating, Airline Transport Pilot, and they're the pilots who carry passengers on large aircraft to wherever they want to go. How long is a pilot's license valid for? It is valid indefinitely, but you're required every two years to get a flight review to make sure you're current. How difficult is it to become a commercial airline pilot? In short, very. Because there's a lot of focus, money, and really just overall dedication. If you really want to do this, you have to go all the way through with it. What is the process to become a commercial pilot? Well, right now it starts where I'm at, which is private pilot. Then I Oh, right now, I, I can carry passengers, not for hire, but and not in the clouds. Next, I go to fly in the clouds. Then I go to fly for hire, so I can make enough money to fly in an air, a major airliner for hire. And from there, that's pretty much as high as you can go. What plane do you currently fly? I fly a uh, Cessna 172 Skyhawk. What plane do you want to fly later in life? I want to fly a Boeing 747, because it's just big. If you were to attain that plane, what would you name it? I would name it Lorraine because that name just really clicks for me. Who in your family has piloted an aircraft before? Bailey's grandfather is a uh, private pilot and he's been flying for many years now. It sparked an interest in Bailey, but uh, ultimately Bailey made a decision later to, to do it himself. Whose idea was it to let Bailey fly and why? So Start Flying was Bailey's idea. He, uh, he, he received a scholarship for a leadership academy uh, down in Huntsville, Alabama. He, it was all about aerospace and, and avionics and flight. And that sparked an interest in learning how to fly. So when he came home on a summer vacation, he actually took a discovery flight. And from that point on, we knew he just fell in love with it. What are some common risks during flight? Well, it could be from anything from visibility, wind, pressure, and even the air temperature. What are ideal flying conditions? For the most ideal, I would say, were nice even pressure, or high, cold day, sunny, sunny skies, and high ceilings. How does rain and snow affect your flying? Well, they both offer reduced visibility, which is never good, but snow is risky because it could cause your airfoils to freeze. What was the longest distance you've ever flown? Longest distance? Probably 300 nautical miles, which is a little little shorter than a mile, but still. Where was that to? I flew it all the way out to Pennsylvania at Wilkes Bar Scranton. How do you feel about Bailey flying? So I'm actually very proud of Bailey flying. Um, you know, he's done many things in sports and other t Boy Scouts, etc. lots of activities. He's never really been drawn to anything other than flight. So when he actually started flying, we knew it was something he loved and he will excel at. Do you think he has a future in being a pilot? I do. Um, I, I believe that, uh, you know, it's something he loves. It's something he's very interested in. So he's putting a lot of energy into uh, to making that a reality.